In a world where constant innovation and change are required to stay one step ahead of the competition, standing still is not an option. In an effort to outdo their competitors, shipyards all over the world are pushing the envelope and working diligently to build the ultimate superyacht, each one grander than the last. Each piece on this list is a superb illustration of creative design and cutting-edge engineering serving both above and below deck for a variety of purposes. Without further ado, the following list of the biggest yachts in the world. But before we find that out, watch the entire video to see how we respond to questions. Then click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Number 10, Nord. The newest product on our list, Nord, will be delivered in 2021. During her construction, she was first known as Project Redwood, then as Opus, and eventually as Nord. She is a wonderful illustration of design innovation in the superyacht industry. Coming in at around 142 meters, she was designed by Nuvolari Lennard and has a ton of amenities on board. According to build manager Rob Moran, these include a beach club, a water sport and dive center, two helipads, and a tender garage with room to store a multitude of toys, including 16 tenders, a submarine, and an ROV. Four satellite dome arrays are seen on her mast. With its 20 suites, Nord can comfortably accommodate 36 guests. Number 9. Sailing Yacht A Sailing Yacht A is the second superyacht that Russian industrialist and billionaire Andrei Melnichenko has ordered, following Motor Yacht A. She was created in 2017 by the German shipyard Nobiskrug using Philippe Stark's designs. This yacht was around 142.81 meters. Sailing Yacht A is sail-assisted, in contrast to the other boats on this list. She is equipped with a computer-controlled diesel-electric power system and 3,747 square meters of sail. She can house a crew of 54 people on her eight decks. The Sailing Yacht A has numerous cutting-edge innovations, including the tallest carbon masts in the world, at 100 meters above sea level, balconies surrounded by pieces of curved glass of record-breaking diameters, and an underwater observation pod. Number 8. Prince Abdulaziz The Saudi royal family's royal yacht, Prince Abdulaziz, is birthed in Jeddah next to the palace of the Saudi king. She was constructed in 1984 for King Fahd of Saudi Arabia by the Danish shipyard Helsingor Werft, according to a design by Maidenform. Coming in at around 147.01 meters, she took over as the biggest yacht in the world at the time from El Marusa. Building Prince Abdulaziz allegedly cost 184 million US dollars, and it has beautiful interior decor by the deceased David Hicks, who merged traditional and modern architectural elements. Even her spacious lobby is rumored to have been inspired by the Titanics. She has a mosque, a movie theater, and, if rumors need to be believed, surface-to-air missiles and underwater monitoring equipment as befits the yacht of the Saudi royal family. Number 7. A+. This yacht, which was designed by Tim Haywood and was delivered by Lurson in 2012, is cloaked in secrecy. She was once known as Topaz, but changed her name to A+, in 2019, and now flies the Cayman flag. About 147.25 meters in size, Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayyan, a member of the United Arab Emirates, or UAE elite, who owns Manchester City Football Club, is rumored to be her owner. Terence Disdale Design created the interior of A+, which has a helipad like many other places on this list. Leonardo DiCaprio is believed to have chartered her twice, but other than that, not much is known about her. Number 6. El Marusa the oldest vessel here on list is El Marusa, which was delivered in 1865 by the Samuda Brothers Shipyard. She is a classic example of superyacht design, and until Prince Abdulaziz arrived on the scene in 1984, she held the record for largest yacht in the world for well over a century. This yacht is a massive 150.57 meters in size. 
El Marusa, which served as the official reception area for dignitaries at the Suez Canal's historic opening in 1869, was initially constructed for Khedive Ismail, the Ottoman governor of Egypt. She has had numerous reconstructions over the years, beginning with a lengthening of 12.1 meters in 1872 and the removal of its paddle wheels, followed by rebuildings in 1905 and 1950. She was repaired during the Christopher Columbus Fleet Review after falling into ruin. El Marusa is now managed by the Egyptian Navy and is used as the presidential yacht for Egypt. Number 5. Al Said. Al Said was given her name in honor of her owner, Sultan Qaboos bin Said Al Said of Oman, who is also the head of Oman's Royal Yacht Squadron. This yacht is around 155 meters. Espinino also created the 155-meter yacht, which was dubbed Project Sunflower and built at Lurison's Vegasac shipyard. Al Said raises the bar by providing accommodations for 65 guests and a team of 150 people. She features spacious areas for entertaining visitors with the onboard performance hall, her showpiece, having space for a symphony of 50 musicians. Number 4. Dilbar Azam is the largest yacht in the world in terms of length, but Dilbar, which is 30 meters shorter, is significantly larger in terms of interior volume, 15,917 GT. The yacht is around 156 meters. Alishur Usmanov, a billionaire from Uzbekistan, is the owner of the superyacht designed by Espanino. A 180 cubic meter pool and a 30,000 kilowatt electric diesel power plant are two of Dilbar's genuinely groundbreaking amenities. Despite her enormous size, she only has room for 24 guests in her 3,800 square meters of living space but she has an incredible 100 crew members, ensuring that guests get the personal care and attention they need. Number 3. Dubai The name of this superyacht is appropriate given that it is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of Dubai's royal yacht. 162 meters in size, in conjunction with Blom and Voss and Andrew Winch, Prince Geoffrey of Brunei originally commissioned her. Her superstructure, nevertheless, had not yet been completed when work on it was put on hold. Then the Dubai government took over the project and hired Platinum Yachts Costas Antonopoulos to complete it. The Royal Yacht features a plethora of amenities appropriate for its owner's position. The six guest suites and five VIP suites in Dubai were all custom made by Nakheel Interiors and have open balconies. She also has a submarine garage and a Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter landing pad. Number 2. Eclipse When Azam was delivered from the Bloman Voss shipyard in 2010, Eclipse held the record for the largest superyacht for three years. 162.5 meters in size, Terence Disdale Design, who was in charge of all interior design, deck layout, and superstructure design and construction, created custom interior finishes specifically for Eclipse. The 16-meter swimming pool at Eclipse can be converted into a dance floor, and it can accommodate three helicopters, among other things. Among the accolades she has received is the 2015 World Super Yacht Awards Motor Yacht of the Decade. Number 1. Azam. The German shipyard Luersen is well known for having a virtual monopoly on the production of enormous superyachts. This yacht is 180.61 meters in size. Since its October 2013 debut, Azam has maintained its dominance as the largest privately owned superyacht. Christophe Leone, who handled the interior design, used French Empire-style furnishings. The exteriors were designed by Nauta Yacht Design while Mubarak Saad al Ababi was in charge of the engineering. The monster that is Azam disproves the idea that huge yachts must be slow, with a top speed of nearly 31.5 knots thanks to her inventive water jet engine. That's it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you do, show some love, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on our excellent and informative videos.